hello guys and welcome back to the channel now guys now that Bukola Saraki is no longer in the Senate haven't been voted out by his constituency but a lot of people of course will argue that Bukola Saraki was not voted out by his constituency that Malam Buhari of course was determined that that guy was not going to return to the Senate and he subsequently gave Mahmoud uh, Yakubo instructions and uh, Mahmoud Yakubo of course then carried out that instruction which then led of course to Bukola Saraki not being in the Senate. That's a conspiracy theory. That's not proven, but that's what a lot of people feel. But nevertheless, uh, Bukola Saraki is now no longer in the Senate. So now, Malabuari is now all out to punish this guy and see him in jail before the end of the year. So this is now what uh, Malabuari's determination is. So guys, I bring you this. I am innocent of AFCC charges. This is what Bukola Saraki has been forced to put out in the media space so the headline again i am innocent of efcc charges and that comment is attributed to bukola saraki so now let's get into the body of the story former senate president bukola saraki on monday said that he is not in any form of media war with the economic and financial crimes commission efcc he also said that he is innocent of the allegations of fraud leveled against him by the anti-graft agency saraki in a statement by his media advisor yusuf olaniyonu noted rather than engage in any media war with the economic and financial crime commission efcc he has been the one at the receiving end of media onslaught allegedly sponsored by the efcc against him the statement reads the attention of the media office of dr bukola uh, saraki has been drawn to the claims contained in the press statement issued yesterday june 30th uh, 2019 by the economic and financial crimes uh, commission efcc and we believe we should uh, make some clarification for members of the public to have a better understanding of the issues raised therein Dr. Bukola Saraki has not engaged in any media war. Rather, Dr. Saraki has been the one at the receiving end of the media onslaught sponsored by the office of the EFCC. Various documents and court processes from the agency has been given to a particular newspaper for publication. In fact, while the EFCC distributed copies of its letter to the chief judge of the federal high court immediately after it was submitted we are still surprised how dr saraki's response written early may found its way into a newspaper last sunday it should be known that if we are interested in leaking the letter, we would not wait for seven days to do that. Dr. Saraki believes he is on firm ground on points of law and has nothing to be afraid of. He is innocent of the charges. We need to reiterate that Dr. Saraki is not interested in obstructing any investigation by the EFCC or any security agency. While the EFCC claims that it is investigating the office of the Senate President between 2015 and 2019, we make bold to say that it is just a wild goose chase. The office has nothing to do with contract awards and handling of finances of the National Assembly. These are functions of the bureaucracy of the National Assembly, otherwise known as the National Assembly management on its persistent probe of the tenure of dr saraki as governor of Kwara state between 2003 and 2011 we maintain that all the issues the efcc are presently raising were the same issues that are contained in four of the charges filed before the code of conduct uh, tribunal cct and taken before the court of appeal and the supreme court the cct case went beyond the subject matter of asset declaration they raised issues about assets how and when they were acquired the sources of their funding and the bank transactions of dr saraki 
that is why we maintain that since the issues have been determined by the courts up to the Supreme Court, the ESCC is just on the persecution and smear campaign with its current investigation. At the time the CCT charges were filed, it was generally believed some of the charges rather should not have been lumped up with the asset declaration issues. However, in their desperation to nail Dr. Saraki, some of the charges that contained insinuations that Quara State funds were paid into accounts owned by him and companies in which he was interested were filed. And twice, the charges went before the highest court in the land and was discharged and acquitted. It is also the reason that Dr. Saraki believes that the current investigation constitutes an infringement on his fundamental human rights. In the exercise of his belief in the judiciary, he has filed a case seeking the court to intervene for the protection and enforcement of his rights. So now this is now the going on within the Nigerian space. Like I said, these guys, they will chase this Saraki guy to the bitter end. Uh, hopefully they don't just uh, extrajudicial extra him. We, we, we all know what that means within the Nigerian space. Uh, we all know that Malam Buhari is capable of anything. So now all of these cases have gone before, before rather several panels up to the Supreme Court and these guys again go back because they for print outside of the law you see because obviously you know Malam Buhari is no respecter of the law the law says release Dasuki you say you are going to jail him because he jailed you when you were a coup cool plotter and all this going on so the law says one thing and Malam Buhari will tell us that he, he he knows better than the law of the land even though he has not yet produced his school certificates with the whole of Nigeria is still waiting for so this is the going on now so now we now have this situation where charges have been leveled against this guy and this guy has been dragged through all of the courts in the land of Nigeria up to the Supreme Court which is the pinnacle of the legal system in Nigeria and this guy has been discharged and acquitted but Malam Buhari's agent are saying that it doesn't matter what the courts say we will continue to torment your life so this is now a fundamental human rights issue but then we're talking fundamental human rights issue what does that mean in Nigeria there's no you, you what fundamental right you don't even have the right to to breathe here in nigeria you are saying you have fundamental human are you a human being we are all dogs and uh Shebi Buhari told us that uh the blood of the dogs and the baboons will be soaked if they do not make him president in 2015 so the president himself has already told you that you are dogs and baboons so what fundamental human rights now are you fighting for because you recall there was a time they went to attack this guy's um, property in uh Ikoyi. about two or three properties were marked with red marks saying this uh, property is being investigated by the EFCC and this same property were the properties that the Supreme Court of Nigeria has made a judgment on so if the Supreme Court of Nigeria has made a judgment of something and this uh, and this Ibrahim Magu um, Malam Borari Sata attack dog in the EFCC is telling us that the Supreme Court can think whatever they like or say whatever they like but he's going to continue to persist Execute this guy until his ogre, who is the real law of the land in Nigeria, tells him to stop. Then we already then know what what we're in in the Nigerian space. So now they are now pursuing this guy now for his um, activities in Kwara State. This was uh, in 2003, there about. Oh, so now if they are persecuting this guy for his activities in Kwara State and investigating him for his activities in Kwara State, rather, then I will suggest that Kwara State is not really the the priority if you are really looking to investigate governance in Nigeria. If you want to investigate governance in Nigeria and corrupt practices, you have to go to where the most money is first because that is really where the most crimes are being committed. So the people you are looking to be investigating really are Tinobu Rotimi and Mechi, these are, these are the powerhouses of the money spots in Nigeria because the money is in Nigeria, is in Lagos, the Niger Delta and Abuja. It's not in Kwara State. 
the money in the money is in Nigeria because uh, Nigeria State is just a middle of the road state. There's no real, it's not really down in the dumps, but it's not really high up there. It's just a middle of the road state. So if you want to really investigate corruption in Nigeria, you are saying you are the EFCC, then you want to investigate former governors, then please start at uh, Tinubu because we are here. Tinubu is carrying bullion vans rather all over the streets of Lagos because the money is too much now to go into his pockets. He now needs a series of bullion banks, uh, bullion vans rather. I keep saying bullion banks. Maybe that's a Freudian slip. But he keeps uh, carrying, uh, he keeps being followed by a series of uh, bullion vans because the money that he needs to carry is too much to be contained not only in his pocket but in his own car. So this is now the life that that guy is living in Lagos. So if you want to be investigating corruption, I suggest that you go start with that Tinubu. But of course, it's not investigating corruption easy. It's attacking the man that is a uh, Oga master, is a uh, dog handler, has told him that he's, uh, he's an enemy of his and he wants done down and he wants to see in jail. So it's persecution, not prosecution. This is what is going on. Hopefully, we're praying that this guy's life is safe. We remember when they went to surround his house with DSS agents and whatnot. So now, conversations in the comment section is what I am inviting. Uh, persecution or prosecution is the question that I am asking. Bukola Saraki is the subject matter, but you can replace Bukola Saraki with anybody else that is opposed to Buhari. He's ready to gun us all down uh, straight on the street. And he already has his agents, the herdsmen, monitoring us in our own street where we sleep. So now this is the conversation that I want to have with you. But before you come have that conversation with me, click on the red subscribe button so it turns gray. Bell button that way you're notified every time I drop a new video then come let me know what you're making of the going sound Bukola Saraki, Malam Buhari, Ibrahim Magu and persecution in Nigeria. This is the subject matter that I'm looking to discuss so come join me in the comment section but I'll leave you here. I'll meet you in the comment section but here I say peace.